guys, Black Hawk here. Today we are talking about RX 580 again. In a last beginner's guide, we set it up uh, with a quick BIOS mod, a BIOS flash, and some basic overclocks. And we were able to get to get about about 30.7 mega hash um, at 120 watts of power consumption. Um, but today we want to go a step further. To, to get a little bit more efficiency and more hash rate for that you will need to apply memory timings to apply memory timings you will need this AMD memory tweak program I will put this file into a description once you unpack this file you will get this folder you need to copy all this copy into the folder of your miner so team red miner you paste it here I already have it here so I'm not going to paste but you need to paste it here and press yes um, change all the files that are already in here after you have it here you need to find this update GPU file press um, right click edit and you copy just first if you have one GPU of course first line and second line copy close this, go to the start it file, edit and you want to make some lines here, paste it here and you want to delete those timings and um, if you have only one GPU in the system this GPU 0 is ok, uh, please be careful AMD, uh, win AMD tweak always selects GPUs, it starts with first GPU is GPU 0 so if, if, if you have 7 GPUs it will be GPU 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and that's it if you have 1 GPU it's GPU 0, if you have 3 it's 0, 1, 2 ok, so if, because we have only 1 so GPU 0 is ok press space um, 2 lines and um, not this um, REF space 30 and press save I, I like to delete all this line because it's just making confusion for me I want to delete all those lines I don't like this stuff in here because we don't need it be careful not to delete, delete these four lines and this last line ok you, you press save this you can close and you need to go into overdriven apply overclocks be careful you always need to apply overclocks first and only after that you apply memory timings so we, we have profile G1 from our last video which are these basic overclocks very stable overclocks these overclocks you can improve them even more those are not the best possible but those are stable and just good for the beginning you press apply and then you start um, minor so as you can see it applied up here it applied GPU 0 ref 30 and let's see what hash rate we get now in, in last video we get 30.7 at around 140 watts for the whole system let's see what we'll get today with this um, dash dash ref 30 ok guys so we are getting 31.2 mega hash now so we gained 0.5 mega hash at roughly the same power consumption or uh, like 2 watts more of power consumption Not, uh, now what I also want to show you I want to show you how to apply overclocks um, automatically so don't, you don't have to go into overdriven every time let's just close this program and um, I want to reset the GPU to stock settings um, then I, I want to I have it here so I'm not going to type it let me just copy you need to go into 
going to start it, edit, and this it is important to apply overclocks before you apply uh, memory timings. So to apply overclocks, you need to write overdriven tool dot exe uh, dash r one. This means um, reset GPU one dash p one. This uh, means apply um, to GPU one this uh, profile G one. So let's see what exactly this means. Okay, like this. Okay, so this R1, P1 is the number here. So, like I said before, this number is important. So, if you have more GPUs, you will need to use more line. Like, for example, if you have two GPUs, let me show you. You do like this. Um, one, one. And if you want to apply the same profile, it, it can uh, stay like G1. So this will mean um, apply this to GPU 1, apply this to GPU 2. But because we only have one GPU, it will stay like this. So uh, um, reset GPU 1, uh, apply to GPU 1 profile G1. So this will basically do this. Okay, let's reset and see what, what this will do. Let's save, close and start if okay so basically this applied overclocks this applied memory uh, timings and let's fast forward to see what we will get okay guys as you can see all the settings were applied automatically we are getting 31.2 mega hash at 141 142 watts for the whole system so that is uh, great now um, I just want to, to show you how you can test your GPUs because as you know every GPU is different and um, s probably you can get more mega hash so there is no reason to stop here so what you can try you can try um, push memory higher I, I, ad I advise you to push it higher for like 10 megahertz apply and test and if it is okay push it for more like uh, 70 or even 80 or I don't know even 2200 uh, is possible 210 who knows let's try 2200 now um, let's save this to G1 and it will apply okay you also want to reset it first because um, sometimes it doesn't want to apply so let's see what we will get now and this is my last step maybe probably I can go even further but uh, this is just uh, this is work for you you need to test your GPUs I have already tested mine so this is just uh, for the sake of video okay let me fast forward So guys, um, increasing memory to, to 2200 didn't give any results because core was um, uh, bottlenecking it. So I pushed also core to 1180 and now we are getting 32 mega hash but consumption went up for 2 or 3 watts. So we are at 145 at the war for host system, 125 for GPU. So that's it for, for this video. I think uh, this is uh, completed the beginner's guide on RX 580 GPU. Um, you're getting 32 mega hash um, with two quick e videos. Um, now it is up to you to test your GPUs. I know you can get higher. I know you can further decrease power consumption, but you will need to test. Remember, every GPU is different. Silicon lottery, so some GPUs will get better results, others uh, won't. I wish you happy mining and see you in my next video. Cheers, guys.